So I just popped down this evening, as you've seen. Got some of these beauties. I've got an eight, a seven, and a five in free cast. And now it's gone a little bit quiet. Good morning. Welcome back to a new venue. I've just got to pop over there through the woods. We'll be on the side of the fjord. But I just thought I'd show you my kit a minute. As planned throughout the week, Stu and I are going to hopefully catch you a few fish on camera and show you the way we do it in daylight. The reason we haven't done it in daylight is because low water has been in darkness. And when you're shad fishing, you can only get about an hour, hour and a half just the other side of low. So it takes about, low water comes in, it takes about half an hour to settle and then you get about an hour and a half max and then it starts pushing the other way and you've got no hope. So as you can see, I've got a 80 gram jig head, which I got from VMO, to a, just a normal shad body. Everyone's got their favorites. That's a four inch shad, by the way. And we've got a couple of nodules on the back. Especially at night, the more nodules you got, the more commotion in the water, which seems to attract the fish. That is why we're able to shad like this morning and like we have done so far overnight because of movement and the fish are just hunting with their lateral lines and banging into these shads. As I've mentioned, I've got my four inch shad to my 80 gram jig head. I've then got a four foot leader of fluorocarbon. When you're in close and you've got rocks and stuff, braid is not very abrasive, as we probably know. And when you're trying to guide a fish through the rocks at the end or up over a ledge, if you haven't got a fluoro leader, you get cut off. The braid just cuts really simple. So that is 25 pound fluorocarbon, blackout from HTO, tied with an FG knot. You might not be able to see that. If I do that, you probably can. I'll do both. Obviously it's just me, it's not professional, is it? You know how we go. And then I've got 0.16, I believe, 18 pound J braid to a 4,000 star reel to a 60 to 80 gram shad rod or a law rod, as most people call it. And that is it. And you've got to have effort. You've got to be willing to get cold, get wet, face it up, but it's great fun. What we're going to do now is walk up over the hump. I'll take you to the mark. I try not to fall in or break my neck. You know how it's going today. I've already got a wet boot, as you've just seen. But I've had three fish now over the other mark in five casts. So we've got a chance. Like I said, all the fish in Norway are hunting herring or on the balls of bait. If we've got no herring here, we won't get any fish. But all week we've managed to bag up here. So I've been quite excited to get out today to show you this in daylight. And hopefully I can inspire you to get out. And between Stu and I, we can catch you a few fish and make a nice video. Well slippery here. So we've just checked the weather and the wind's going to be in our face at the mark we hope to fish for about another half an hour. And then it's due to drop off. And they seem to get the weather perfect out here. It's just horrible all the time. But you get little windows where you can fish. So hopefully, when we get round the other side, we'll be able to shad for you or lure fish for you. So while we've got a bit of time, I'm just gonna carry on. I'll keep the camera rolling. Oh, there's a hole. Fuck's sake, straight in. Ah, there you go. There's a wet boot for you. Ah, never mind. You need to be on a high point to cast, and I just put my boots straight in. I was really warm then. That was beautiful. And now I'm soaked, but never mind. That's Norway. It's Norway for you, eh? We're going back to get changed in a bit anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm straight in. I need to concentrate.
good fish. Yes. But uh, just that wind died just enough for me to get it out in that hole. This wind is terrible. It's a better fish, look. Hopefully you can see me in this horrible light. It's taking line. A yeah, better fish. Big head shaker. <sighs> on the fish, everyone. We're on the fish in Norway. Oh, that wind is rank. There's yeah, a better fish. Got just navigating through this ledge. Got them coming now. Just can't play around with these. There's a the ledge. <sighs> Bully him in. Come on, son. Yes. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah. Oh, he's gone right in the ledge underneath me. There you are, on the cod. Let's try not to go in. Yeah. And there we go. What a beauty. What a nice fish. That's a beautiful Norwegian cod. And he's absolutely nailed my shad. But yeah, I've got a wet boot. I'm soaking. But we're on the fish. And that's all that matters to me. Who cares about the weather? It's freezing. I'm struggling to talk because the rain is freezing straight on my face. But that is a beautiful fish. Especially on a lure. Thanks, Mr. Cod. Cheers, everyone. That one's for you. Thanks for watching. You know how much I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon on the mighty Chesil Beach. But firstly, let's get today out of the way. On the fish. Stuart nuts already down there. But yeah, I'm just going this way. But it's a beautiful day. I hope you've enjoyed this trip. It's been really hard for the weather. We've had to travel a little bit. But we caught some fish. On the whole thing about the videos really it's nice to see somewhere different as you know by now my channel is a little bit different I'll put you on me my channel is a little bit different I try and mix it up make interesting things for you might not be for everyone but when I get home I'll get back out on chisel we'll do a trip to the Bristol Channel and we'll be back out here probably in six weeks time again oh yeah we're going to Scotland in March Steve Perry Stu and I on the skate and we see if we can get you some skate I had 26 last year so I'm quite excited between us we know how to get them and hopefully I can film a nice video for you to sit back and enjoy at home oh, look at this you don't want to be looking at me what a beauty right I'm going to make my way down onto that rock through the trees when I bring you back hopefully I'll be into some fish and I can make a nice video for you. I'm Heading hanging up my ass. I'm blowing a little bit, yeah? In the morning to find a place Where no one knows our faces or our names If we don't leave now in mind Never make it out alive Plans are changing so as we've seen as we're just walking up over, Stu was straight into a fish. I've just got here, he's had two cod in two casts. So things are looking up. It's what it's been like all week really. We've had so many fish. We've had over a hundred cod. Um, yeah, we had probably, probably had 40 yesterday. But look, I'm gonna do some shadding. So as I said before, it's about imitating a fish. These fish are in here feeding on heron and bait fish so my job is to present this shad i'll show you again a four inch shad and trick them into thinking it's a bait which is not that easy so the aim is to cast right to the back of the pool take the hood off it's boiling let out a bit of line it's deep so what we want to do is bounce the shad off of the bottom 
bring it up like a fish like this, like an injured fish or a swimming fish, and the fish come along and nail it. So we lift up, three or four turns down, wait for it to hit the bottom. On the bottom, pull up, three or four turns down, there you go, on the bottom, up. Stew stuck in the, the ledge. Up, three or four turns. And on the bottom. So you just lift it up. Believe it or not, those three or four turns it takes ages to go back to the bottom. It's strange. It works the treat. So sometimes what you need to do when there's not that many fish around, two or three turns like this, keep it lower. When the balls of herring are in, or the bait fish, sometimes you get it up higher if they're up in the water. Let's just try it an hour. Tide slowed right down now. So what we've got here, we've got two fjords that meet. So you can only fish it for sort of an hour and a half at low. Hopefully I'll be able to show you what it's like. It absolutely hammers through. If you can't like hold bottom, you can hear it coming when it turns. Uh, yeah, it's a bit quiet. Normally when we get on the fish, You're on the fish, and I mean, whenever you cast. So as you can see, Stu's in. It's been a little bit hard. The tide's kicking for some reason. It's just Norway. Everything's sent to destroy you. But if you get it right, you get the fish. Well done, Stu. Watch that ledge. Looks a nice fish. Digging in. There he is. Lovely. As you can see, Wayne just filming over there. We come down to Strowman Point again to do a bit of shadowing because the weather's really bad here. Um, second cast, cod of about three and a half pound. It's full of them in here. Um, what we'll do is later we'll talk about it, but so all we're doing is bumping a shad through the gully on Stroudman. Um and it's quite prolific. A um, lot of fish holding in here, but as you can see now the tide's picked up and we're going to get pushed off here. As you can see, the tide's kicking now. It's whirlpooling. Is that a word? Whirlpooling. It's kicking right off at this point and it's virtually impossible. You only get about an hour, hour and a half here max. We've stuck it out of the other mark for probably half an hour too long. So we've kind of missed our chance, but that's the thing in Norway. Like all fishing, you take your chance, and sometimes you get it right, sometimes it backfires. But as you've seen, I fell in this morning, I caught a fish for you, and we've just come here, and Stu's caught one. So we're winning. I'm a little bit disappointed because we've been bagging up here all week, but hopefully the weather allows us tomorrow morning, before we fly home, to we'll keep our shad rods out when everything else is packed away. And bring you back out here but i hope you've seen how easy it is well it's not overly easy but the technique is pretty straightforward you can get the 60 and 80 gram jig heads from vmo there's lots of other people that do them i'm not sponsored by them but that's where i got mine and the shad body is the same i got some four inch shad bodies off of ebay quite cheap quite straightforward the fluorocarbon i got from hto blackout obviously it's part of tronics pro and I've just got an old shadding rod and a 4,000 reel that I bought for like 30 quid off the internet. And it's brilliant. Welcome back. Ready for the night session. 
So we're all packed up, ready to go for tonight. Not packed up to go home, packed up to go fishing. Got my shad rod, made up five or six shads. I've got a brand new leader. Things are definitely looking up. We've had quite a lot of fish, but it's the last night. So Stu's gonna bait fish. I'm gonna smash it out of the park with the shads. I'll try and light it up. Obviously, it's not the best filming yourself at night, but we'll have a go. See you in a minute. See you down there. Bang, bang. On the cod. How you doing, everyone? Welcome back. It's now night time. It's first day evening, and we just packed up where we were bait fishing. We popped home, or popped back to the digs, had some food, second cast on the shad, straight back into them. Why couldn't that have happened this morning in daylight? I don't know. But look, it's a lovely fish. I'm going to keep a few this evening for some of the lads that haven't had that many fish this week. So we're going to keep a few to make sure they go home with nice full call cool boxes. But there you go. There's the first one of the evening. I'll light it up in a minute, do some shadding, and hopefully I can get into a double on a shad. I've still not done that. So tonight could be the night. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, Mr. Cod. There you go, like peas in the pod tonight. There's another nice one, probably six pang on the shad. Beauty, look at it hanging out of his face. Right there, right in the kisser. But look, there's another one. I'll keep going, there's quite a few fish around this evening. I've got to catch a few. There's like three or four people that want me to catch them some fish tonight. So it's my time to take a few home, to get them filleted, to get them packed up, ready to fly home tomorrow. But that will be eaten by someone very grateful back in the UK. Cheers, Mr. Cod, and thank you, Norway. Like all good things, they come to an end. Look at this. Wow. I'll we'll try and get all this in two cases. Just clean the reels. It's my bling, look. Look at that. All my other stuff. Yeah. Oh, nice. And I've got to get my rods in the tube. Just one bit of information for you. When you come over to Norway, they don't really, they wear your bags, but they don't really care. When you're going back, they are all over it, especially with the fish. So just go careful. When you pack your bags, make sure you don't, even two or three uh, kilos over, they kick off. So it's an absolute nightmare. When you come across, I think one of mine was like 26 kilos. They didn't really care. But look, that's it. I'm just showing you my kit as I pack up. It's been a privilege. I'll probably show you outside before we go. It's absolutely honking, stinking, 60 mile an hour winds, hammering down, but that's Norway for you. I'll continue to pack up. Hopefully I get it all away and I can bring it all home. Good morning everyone and welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Norway. Obviously last night we went out shadding after fishing that pier. We had plenty of fish, but it was night time. So the plan was always to take you out again today in daylight and finish off our shadow video and catch you a few more fish in daylight. But unfortunately, after we finished fishing last night, the weather kicked up a tree. I'll just take you outside. It's absolutely carnage. Imagine trying to chuck round a 60 or 80 gram law or jig head in this. It's just not possible. There's Andy Lobel with the dead fish. Good morning, Mr. Lobel. Good morning. 